figure shows planar loops of different shapes moving out of or into a region of a magnetic field which is directed normal to the plane of the loop away from the reader determine the direction of induced current in each loop using lenz law so see here for first i right for this figure here as the given loop enters given magnetic field inward right so magnetic field is inward direction as per the loop magnetic flux increases so induced current should cause outward magnetic flux to oppose the increase in flux so because of magnetic field inward magnetic flux increases and current cause that increase right it oppose that increase current oppose that increase of magnetic flux so according to lenz law for this induced current should flow in anti clockwise direction along the path a b c d a right then uh next second uh, here as the given loop exists gi uh, given magnetic field inward magnetic flux decreases for second right because that is moving outward direction it is exi exiting so it is decreasing so induced current should cause inward magnetic flux to increase it opposes the decrease so induced current try to increase that magnetic flux so for this induced current should flow in clockwise direction so that's why here a c b a a to c to b to a right to increase that then third here as the given loop exist exits given magnetic field so here also it is exiting inward magnetic flux decreases and so induced current should cause inward magnetic flux so again it is clockwise direction so simple things you have to remember if that loop is coming towards magnetic field then anti clockwise direction if that loop is exiting from that magnetic field clockwise direction right that that is the direction of induced current